Okay, so this is a video to explain how you exploit a poll using the polling system called Slido, which is what Politico Europe used uh, for the Maastricht debate that happened yesterday. And today, all of the candidates involved in that debate have been so smug about how well they did in this uh, poll. Now, I'm just going to show you with this video how relatively simple it is to manage to basically to twist the results of such a poll and hence anything based on Slido you ought to be uh, wondering about the extent to which it's representative or not. So this is how it's going to work. So first of all I'm going to go to the Slido website, I'll go to log in and then I will log in and he, here you've seen I've made a in, in, in my account in Slido uh, an event called Maastricht Fake. Because we're using the free version of Slido, you have to use a different hashtag, hash J702. We have a poll here, the same style as Politico used. Uh, who won the debate? So we've got where's Wally Weber, Sans Timmermans, and Sab Eichhout are the people who uh, won the debate, uh, potentially, and we can poll on that. And we have 0%, uh, so no votes cast for, for any of those. So here I'm using just my regular browser, Brave the browser, so that's with my login. Now I'm going to go to a different web browser, Safari, um, which is um, uh, how I would then um, access this uh, as, a, as a visitor. I have then basically put the, the code J702 in here to access, uh, to access my event, to access my poll. And then that's what it would look like um, as a visitor. So I can then choose who won the debate. So I can click Sans Timmermans, send, you will then see he receives 100% of the vote based on one vote cast. So what I can then do is I can then go to my privacy settings in my browser, manage the website data, click on that, remove all of the cookies, yes, remove the cookies, done, go back, refresh the page, and my poll is now working once more for the same user. Yeah. Still 100%, but this time with two votes cast. So I'll go back to my administration, log in, and you can see here votes two and 100% for Sons Timmermans. So then we're now going to use a little um, inbuilt Mac app called Automator to speed up that process. So what it's going to do is it's going to basically automate all of that process of voting, clearing the cookies, refreshing the page, and then speed that up. Um, so what I'm going to do here is uh, basically take my hands off the keyboard. Uh, and just run this. Once I click run, I'm not going to touch anything else. So click run. There we go. We've gone through that process notably quickly, more quickly. I'll just go back to Automator and I'll just run that one more time. As if that were not enough, let's do it one final time. Right then, and then we go back, refresh the page in the administration, tells us votes five, yeah, i.e. two that I cast manually, three that I cast for the automator, and 100% of the votes for Rans Timmermans. So doing that, my computer was connected to the same Wi-Fi network, um, had uh, all I was just doing was simply clearing uh, the cookies and I can vote in a Slido poll as many times as I want. So therefore, when you hear from political parties uh, that they, what, their candidate won the debate or performed admirably, ask yourself, how good was the security of the poll? I hope this has demonstrated to you that you should not use Slido for anything which is remotely controversial. Are you listening, Politico?